everyone. So happy Friday to those who are getting their weekend on. I have a really cool little flip book that to show you guys. Um, definitely something different that I don't normally do, which is a matte type album. I did not create this. Well, let me say I was inspired by Jen of Eve on YouTube and I'm going to link her uh, channel. I found it. I've been like YouTubing like crazy, you guys. But I was totally inspired, so I did my measurements different. I actually like her measurements better because it's perfect for a photo album. Um, and I did add things that were not in her album uh, just to, you know, make it my own. So thanks, Jen, for this tutorial. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this would be ideal for like a really thick, have you seen those thick matte albums that they post and you usually see them on Pinterest and they're just flipping through, flipping through. So this is that, and it would be something you would typically put in there, but I made it just an album by itself, um, using one of the pages in there. So, uh, you have this little, and this would be like for, you know, photos or something. This is like a like a fit a four by six photo. And then I added this vellum, of course. You'll know which ones I added just because of the vellum. Uh, so I added this pocket, this was blank on hers. And then I added another pocket here, just cause I thought it looked really pretty when you lay down and open it with just another vellum piece there. And then it flips open. So this was actually her flip floppy album, it was called or something. But um, I just, these were the pockets in there. And you can see if you were on my Instagram, you'll see how I used my scraps from my hole punch. And that's just an idea. I was thinking about maybe doing another use your scrap series, but I'm really trying to collect a few thoughts together. So um, anyways, here's some more pockets. And then you flip it and I just kind of continued the same thing and added the vellum pockets and the little uh, side mat right here. So it's a really fun, I mean, I can imagine, you know, they make them really thick, these albums, but I think it looks beautiful with just like this. So um, I didn't put a cover on mine just because I was being lazy so I could get the tutorial up, but um, I added a cover here. She didn't have a cover because as I said, this is something maybe you'd wanna stack, stack, stack if you're doing a photo album. And this would also be really beautiful inside of, um, for traveling photos. Someone had asked me on Pinterest if I could do a travel photo album and I feel like this would be beautiful for that. If you maybe resize it or even just stick in some smaller pictures, I think this would be really nice. All right, so all that babbling, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I hope I have all my ducks in a row because let me tell you, I feel like if this is a very easy album but on my end, I feel like there's quite a few steps. Okay, so we're gonna do the outside cover. Okay, the outside cover, and by the way, I'm using a very light cardstock. It's not heavy, and honestly, you could use scrap of paper. I just wanted mine a little bit more sturdy, um, so that's why I used it to give it that matte feeling. So the outside cover piece is going to be 11 and a half by eight, eight by 11 and a half, sorry, I just kind of did my thing wrong. And the 11 and a half inch score, we're gonna score it at five and three quarters. So just lay that down, 11 and a half inch score right there. And then I'm just gonna score right, it's right in the middle. So you could even just fold your paper in half. And that will work too. I'm looking for my puppy, I'm hoping that everything goes okay in here. <laughs> Okay, because he's just got from a nap. So he's a little, you know, just out there right now. Okay, actually I'm gonna leave this here because we're gonna need this. So did our cover and let me, sorry, I have a lot of pieces here, you guys, so you have to bear with me. So we're gonna just go ahead and do the front. I wanna get that out of the way. So if you're doing the front and back, your cover page is gonna be five and a half by seven and three quarters, okay? seven and three fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check my measurements, which I usually do, but you know, sometimes you just never know. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. So just curious if anyone got 
ready. This is Father's Day weekend right now, so just seeing who got there. We, me and my son, uh, snuck to the mall, and I got my husband some clothes. He's been really needing it, but he's kind of too lazy to go. So we went and did that. And we actually just got back. And I was like, I need to put a tutorial, but it's been like a week, I think. Okay, so there's the cover. Now we're gonna do the fun little flip pages, okay? So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a second. All right, and the little flip pages, okay. And I have a little map thingy I drew, so it makes it easier. Okay, so we're gonna, you're gonna need two of these, okay? So the pages are gonna be seven and three fourths by nine and a half. Okay, and at the nine and a half inch score, we're gonna score it at four inches. So just lay it down at the nine and a half inch mark and four inch. That's gonna be like a little flippy page. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Now my cardstock is, um, I'm doing it four inch again. My cardstock is double sided, so I wanna show you so you know. My flip page okay, one is gonna be going this way, like this, and your other page is be going to, is gonna be going this way. So I want to show you that now so you know. Wow, did I use two different pinks? Oopsie. Um, so now you know it's gonna go like this. So I don't know what kind of paper you're using, it could be double-sided, it might be single-sided, so just know. I guess that if you're doing it the other way, you'll do five and a half. But I just did both of mine at four. Hope that's not confusing. Okay, and the rest is going to be pretty easy because after this, we're going to just um, pretty much, you know, paste everything on after that. So let's go do these flippy pages first before we go forward and put it in. Oh my, I'm... I'm trying to stay organized here. Like I said, this is such an easy album, but there's quite a lot of little measurements. Okay, so we're gonna do this inside portion right here. This, so you're gonna need two sheets and they're gonna be five and a quarter by seven and a half. So I picked out two here. Hopefully this comes out cute. I feel like this is really close. Um, I'm afraid to move this because I don't want to destroy the setup. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and move these on. And I'll show you the page so you just more clear about it. I feel like a rolly stick would be better for this, but those glues are never that great. Okay. I'm going to put that down right here. And as you can see, I just measured it so I can just show the mat just a little bit. So you can see the first one is just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other one. So it's the one that's gonna open this way. This is such a fun album. And I had considered not doing the matte part. I almost considered just doing regular scrapbook paper because I feel like um, people who use these lines like crepe paper and stuff don't typically do the matte type albums. Now I never know which way this goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it this way. I think this is the way it goes. Sometimes I forget to look at the album. Okay, so look, we already have this down, okay? Now what I'm going to do is do the outer portion here. And we're going to, did I only cut two of these? I don't know what I was thinking. Hold on, I'm gonna have to grab some more papers. One second, because I wanna measure this out. So, oh my dog got a hold of this paper. I can see his teeth in it. Hold on. Okay, so our papers, what we're going to need is four of these. 
three and three quarter by seven and a half for the inside and the outside. I don't know why I only cut um, two of them. So I'm just cutting two more. Sorry, I have my thing in my lap because I literally have no room on my desk. Okay, I'm back in business. <laughs> I hope this matches because I kind of picked random ones, okay? So let me see here. I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and look. Okay. So I'm going to put, just put it on each of the covers. Like I said, you just need four of them. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I was so confused. And you guys are probably confused too. Those are the front pockets. I was like, why did I only cut? Okay, so you only need two. I am so sorry. I completely forgot we're doing these pockets. I'm like, why didn't I measure that? And I knew I did this album. So I'm sorry for any confusion. Put it inside. I've lost my mind, you guys. So right here, so just two of those, okay? Let me write that. I'm glad. So you're gonna need two three and three quarter by seven and a half. And those are just going inside. I bet you guys were wondering what I was doing too. Or maybe you thought it was another cover, I don't know. Okay. And okay, I wanna show you at this point, like, okay, you know how I did the vellum? So if you don't wanna do the vellum and you wanna use the paper, make this a pocket now. You can go ahead and just put the glue right there and put a little thing and you can make it like that. But if you wanna do it the way I'm doing it, just go ahead and slap it. Cause I didn't want the vellum to be, um, you know, with just a pink background. I wanted it to, you know, have a little something. Okay, now, so sorry about that. Um, and you know, someone's, people are like, don't apologize. I can't help it because I feel like it's confusing uh, doing instructions it's just hard to explain when you're doing a video. I think it's easier from the outside to say, oh, it's, don't worry, but when you're filming, I don't know, it just seems more confusing, especially if there's newbies. Okay, so now we're gonna go do the top pockets. Okay, so the top pockets, you're gonna need two of those. Let me show you which ones we're doing. I'm gonna do these two right here. So those are gonna be three by three and three fourths. So two of those. And just like decide where you want it. I've got glue everywhere right now. So just kind of like place it where you want it. Um, I'm gonna do this on this side. So I'm gonna grab my hole punch, which I'm using my bigger one, my two inch one. And I'm gonna do that for that side. And do one for this side. So go ahead and do that. And before I glue it down, I just want to make sure everything's, you know, okay here. So the bottom pieces, we're going to go ahead and just cut that out and then I'll glue everything down. So these two right here we're doing. And that's going to be three and three fourths by four and a quarter. So three and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm just gonna place that down here and here. So let me go ahead and make my holes again. I use larger holes for this so you can really see it and have an easier way to slip everything in. So now I'm just gonna, you know, glue it all in here in the inside, just like a pocket. And you really want to glue very thin so you can tuck in as much as you need to on these little edges, especially these kind of pockets that don't have any score. I definitely prefer scores in my pockets. If you see, I do that a lot. But I think some people appreciate the quick pocket. Okay, that 
this is bothering me. Let me just get that off. Okay, I'm gonna glue this side. Especially when I'm doing a tutorial and I don't glue it too high and I'm trying to stick something inside. It's really embarrassing. Okay. And going up here and doing that and I'm just gonna attach these two little bottom pieces on I really like this one though I think it's fun and interactive and like I said I typically don't do albums like this so it's fun to try something that you typically don't do Okay, and last one right here. And then we'll put our little pockets and stuff on after. So anyways, just curious, the idea is that you're getting your dad or grandfather or whoever, husband. All right, so before we do the pockets, let's go ahead and put this in first so I can clear some of this desk over here. So go ahead and grab your album cover with your and just open it up and you're going to okay so before you stick this in what you want to do is make your pocket hole because this is going to be a pocket too for our mats okay let me do this one too done with my scoreboard. I think I am. I'm going to just move that out of the way. You know, I got to bang a few things on the way. Okay. And let's glue this in. Now, when we glue this in, remember we have that extra pocket. So we're not gluing this whole page in. We're just gluing all around here. So you can have your little photo or, you know, embellishments or ephemera or whatever you want to put in there. There's that, always that bottom that it's like a hill that constantly has to go up. I don't know why I do that. I should have used a different background color. I think it would have popped out more. I didn't realize I was using pink on pink. All right, and now I'm doing it again. So with the side, just, you know, do that. And again, if you want to seal it all the way down and you don't want anything in there, go ahead and do that too. If you want a top pocket, do a top pocket. But the top pocket measurement probably will be a little bit, I feel like it'll be a little slimmer. So you already have your little flip book coming alive right now. So this is pretty much where hers stopped. And then I kind of added. So, oh no, she did the mats too, I believe. Okay, so I've already done one. So as you can see, I've done this. I'm gonna go ahead and slip that in there. I don't think this is dry yet. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Here, I'm just being brave. So I'm gonna put that, and then the other one I'm gonna do with you real quick. It's going to be, so the mat piece, this piece right here is gonna be five by six and a half. So this one, and then the top piece, which is this, is gonna be four and a half by six. Okay, and then you're just gonna glue that on. Before you glue it on, I had punched out my tab. And what I did is I sealed it before I put that on. So it wasn't on top. Sorry, I have glue like all over my fingers. Okay. And I didn't realize how much I apologize in videos until people like say it in the comments and not in a mean way, just in a way like, don't worry about it. Except one lady did say, um, she said, maybe you should prepare better before you do a tutorial. And it's so easy to say that for someone who doesn't go on YouTube and film. But when you film, it's so much more different than 
just getting on here. I mean, try it one day. Like everyone may think, oh, I would have done this, I would have done that. But when you do it, it's totally different, especially when you come so far. The last thing you want to have to do is like prepare for tutorial again. And you know, people do have other things to do in the day besides craft, unfortunately. If I had all the time in the world, then you know, it'd be different. So there's that. And I'm not knocking you when I'm just saying it's always easier to criticize videos and things when you're not the one doing it. Okay, so now this, I just use the same circle punch and I just put an eyelet in it and just pop this bad boy on. And this is my Coco and Reno. Uh, uh, I wish someone was here to help me die. <laughs> you know how there's always that friend that will like say the word for you? Hold on, I'm just digging my uh, treasure desk here for <laughs> my jumbo tape. Now this, you don't have to do jumbo, you can just do regular, but I'm just gonna do it. So I put weekend. The other one had summer on it. Okay, and we have to do the vellum, don't we? So let me get all these sticky notes out of the way. Okay. So these little pockets here for the folders, they're just gonna be three by five and a quarter. And again, you can put pictures here if you're doing a photo album. You may not want to put that here. You might wanna put a photo. So you might not need this part, but I did hate mine. Like I said, this, I forgot to put the strip on it. I did it for the other ones, but I'm gonna glue it. And I might not like the way it looks glued because I'm not crazy about vellum with glue, but. I do like my Braille Arts glue and it doesn't make it so bad. And I feel like when you rub it a little bit, like it won't show through. But just to speed this up, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that here. So you have that pocket right there. And I added another one right in the back here. Let me just make sure this this is kind of overlapping a little bit, but that's all right. It's just because where I punched my hole. So you might want to actually put this on before you punch your hole so that, or you can just cut it down. It's not really a big deal. So you see how my hole's kind of like touching it. So if you, like I said, you might want to do this after. And I probably should put that in after. Okay, so this side here. Oh my, you guys won't believe how many sticky notes I have for this album. So just for those who might be more visual, this is how I had done the measurement for these pages showing on the top. It just gave me a better visual of what I was gonna do when I did the album. Okay, and then these vellum pockets that are gonna go on here are going to be three by seven and a half, easy peasy. And what I had done is just took my very, very thin double-sided tape and put it on three ends right here. And again, you don't have to do this part, you can leave it. So I just got a scrapbook.com uh, package and I am going to, wait, how did I put my pocket on? I'm going to um, do a haul after this. I can't wait to open it. See, doesn't it just like add so, it just makes it look like elegant. I don't know, it makes it look better than flat. So let me just put something in here. And if you want, actually, I believe she had put tabs and I meant to do that, but I forgot. So you can see, I'm just gonna stick some stuff in here so you can see what's going on. And then we have just the same thing going on, that same vellum right here. So again, taking the three by seven and a half and doing more double-sided tape and just sticking it on there. How did I put 
put it on this one. I want to make sure I do it the exact way. Okay. I did it on this side. Ooh, please don't glue that way. Okay, and now I'm just going to fill up this pocket so you guys can see the result. Oh, I meant to use this. This is another one I had cut out. I was thinking about doing that, but I guess I can just slide that in now. So just slide it in, and you can add some tags in there. This is gonna fit, let me see. Does this fit? I doubt it's gonna fit on my glue line, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in sideways. So I just started bringing Bandit to the uh, dog park and he's so scared of all these dogs. I've seen different things like, um, you know, you should have your dog out before, you know, they, they're vaccinated and stuff because it, they can have behavior problems or blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I was too paranoid, I'm too much of a freak to not have my dog's shots, especially with the Parvo. It's not, I'm not really like a huge person, like flu shot or any of that, but I don't know. I feel like it's a real thing with animals when they're puppies, you know, especially the dog park. But he is just not into these dogs, I'll tell you that. He's not, he's not like barking, he's just scared. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot this part. Just let me see how this looks. I just grab my envelopes and I put, um, like I said, I just took these little punches. This was on my page. So all my little punches, I just punch out my scraps that are left over on my sheets, like something like this, where I would not be able to run it through. I recycle all my scraps. I take my whole punches, my big ones and small ones, and then you can have, you know, this. And then you can use it for confetti shakers. I think I made a, a video about it a while ago, but I'm just gonna place that there. And I just took these tiny ones and, you know, just popped it on there. Or you can run it through the sticker thing. I know that's probably easier, but, you know, I'm kind of like old fashioned, I guess. Okay, I'm just going to stick a couple on real quick. And I put sequins in this one just to show you some ideas you can do different than, you know, another tag. Because that book is filled with tags. Okay, if you hear snoring, that's my little guy. He's starting to snore a little louder. Okay, so here's that. My, my dots aren't as pretty as the other one. I think I'm missing one, but I can just kind of put that on there. And again, you don't have to do that. It's just an idea. And this is kind of bulky, the sequins. So I don't think I would advise sequins in it per se, but maybe some pretty embellishments or like washi samples for snail mail, you know, that kind of stuff. So here you go, you guys. Let me know what you think of this album. Uh, maybe I can think of something like this, you know, and if you guys like these kind of albums, but super fun. I really enjoyed this one. And again, you can stack this. So like if I take this album and you want to make a huge like mini album book, you can stack it so that you have all these together and you can make this a pocket on top of each other right here and then just continue it and keep going. So we have a beautiful album. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend.